Alright, I got a few things completed, so I thought I'd do a video real quick. And, uh, as you can tell, it's a little cold here in Texas. For a week now, it's almost been 80s, 90s. And then, the last couple of days, she decided, let's play a game of I'm on Cracker Bipolar, and made it 40s in the rain. We need rain, but good grief, we can live without the cold. Um, so, I'm trying to keep warm. Isn't that cute, this little headband I made? It's actually white and blue. And I just molt, and I just kind of did whatever. It's double stranded, real thick. If you're in the cold area and you want me to make you one of these, these run about all oh, seven, eight bucks, with about a dollar, two dollars shipping. So you know these are double thick, double stranded, really warm. I like them. We don't really need them here in Texas, but days like this, yeah, I do, because I'm gonna freeze. All right, um. I gotta tell you the backstory before I can show you the, the, what I've got. Little man, my son, Cody, he's auti form autistic Asperger's, and, uh, he was trying to tell me he wants hand, uh, gloves for his wall, the flat gloves. And I was like, what are you talking about, kiddo? And he was like, yeah, mama, I want the gloves that go on the wall. I was like, alright, well tell Nana what you're wanting, and, and then have Nana tell me, because my mom can figure it out real quick with him. And she was, talking to him and it finally dawned on us that he sees hands as gloves which makes sense you know because it does look like a glove a flat glove well he wants the the flat part he's talking about is like crochet piece he sees my mom has them because I made some for my mom and he's like I want I want gloves flat gloves for my wall he's wanting handprints for his wall I thought that would be really cool but the problem is I can't find a pattern that I that works. Um, there's one pattern, it's a spiral hand on rivalry, but I, it doesn't make. It's not what I'm wanting. So I talked him into something else, and I talked him into a truck. So here's what I've got down at the the board. I got him a truck made. And what this is on, y'all, is a uh, a cardboard box turned over. Covered in full, and then you just pin down, and then you know it's not perfect square, but it's going in a picture frame, so it's not it don't have to be 100%. You know, just the middle part. And the reason I put full down on that cardboard is to keep the to keep it dry because what I do is I had to go out and buy some hairspray because I don't have that. I don't even use hairspray, and I had to get a hair dryer. I don't use that either. And what I do is take hairspray and spray it real heavy and then use the hair dryer for a couple of minutes and then spray it again in the hair dryer and it comes out real nice. So that's what I've I made for him. He locks the truck until I can find him a hand print that I you know, I didn't even tried to use Knit Pro, but the JPEG images and stuff like that are so dirty that the hand comes out a big blur. Um, so it do, it just doesn't work. Um, making my daughter headbands. You, this is just using a K hook, six point five millimeter, and then um, I crochet a chain ten, and then I double crochet, and then I did back loops all the way up. And what I'm gonna do is fold it around and sew it, and it'll be. And it's not going to have any embellishments on it because uh, she likes the alligator clips. And um, so that's what we're going to do. I've actually got... Hold that thought, y'all. All right. What I've got is these. And uh, they're on alligator clips. And that's what she's wanting. Is just something on alligator clips. Now I bought these just so I could figure out how to make them. And y'all, this is so simple. This is freaking ridiculous. I don't even know why I thought about purchasing these. But, but all it is is you take a flower from the floral department, put a rhinestone in the middle, and then glue the thing on the back. Simple, simple, simple. So what I'm gonna do is make her these headbands ship them to her and then I'm gonna um, 
bake the flowers for or whatever. So she wants one for her cheerleading outfit because she's a cheerleader. Bless my heart. I got a cheerleader for... So I was like, all right, sister, whatever you want, pumpkin. Okay, in case you have not seen it and uh, been hiding in the woods... <laughs> I'm playing. Um, Mikey, may, uh, the crochet crowd. New Afghan challenge. This one, you're going to need two balls of each color. And there's five colors, so ten balls each. Uh, ten balls together. But you can change colors. Mikey's got the video on YouTube. Go check it out. Um, but this pattern is another red heart pattern. I am not a fan of red heart patterns. But that's each personal point, opinion. That's just my personal opinion. Each to their own, okay? But this one is the, the ocean waves. And it looks amazing. Mikey's already um, did his, did a, a sample. And his is amazing. I really like it. There's already people that have already started bringing them in. Doing a really good job. And, uh... As soon as I can, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, 55 miles away from Hobby Lobby, but it's well worth the trip, and get my yarn for it. And um, I can't decide if I want to go with the oceany theme, or if I want to go with a woodsy theme, or, or what I want to do yet. I ain't sure. But anyway, that's the newest one that came out, and um, y'all get printed out and get started. Let's go. I can't wait to see these. The squares and octagon uh challenge was really cool he had a lot of entries on that one and uh, uh, they picked the winner on that already so if you haven't gone over there go over there to the crochet crowd dot com or the crochet crowd on Facebook uh, and get in touch with them because um, they got some good stuff going on even they have a um, Kathy's hook club and they're doing pillows right now I don't do pillows personal opinion I don't do pillows but the ones that I'm seeing are happening oh my goodness they're pretty so anyway y'all take care and have a good